Is it better to stay single in Brazil? Hmm. Let's see. Maybe. We're going to get into that in this video. But shout out to the Patreon family. Shout out to Steady Grounds. This is a Patreon requested video. Shout out to Vibing with Fred. We are going to react to his video, basically posing the question, is it better? I'm gonna do a deep dive on it and give you guys my opinion. All right, so is it better? It depends. All right, but before we get into that, I have my notes here. I have my notes on the Notion app that I wanted that I kind of wanted to discuss here. But let's 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 get some things out of the way first that we have to explain. All right? You have to understand these are some these are some things you have to understand as a traveling male from the United States. All right? We're going to get it out of the way. When you go to these other countries, you are at the top of the economic financial uh, ladder of men, whether it's in Brazil, Colombia, Thailand, Philippines, pretty much every, even Europe, they ain't making money the same way. So we have, to, we have to put that on the shelf and just set it to the side, all right? What I have found, and I kind of agree somewhat with, uh, with, with uh, vibing with Fred, is that here in South America, especially here in Brazil, the women here are not going to kiss your feet because you are an American and because you have money and because you come from a wealthy country. They're not going to do that. OK, and a lot of guys and I'm not saying Fred, I'm just speaking in general, but a lot of guys when they come here. Um, they think that, oh, I have a lot of money, I have a lot of resources, so logically the women are going to behave a certain way. And they're not, okay? Now, if you juxtapose that and you go to Southeast Asia, Southeast Asia, like Thailand and the Philippines, the women over there know how to play the game. Okay, this is a wealthy individual, uh, I'm going to cater to him X, Y, Z. Even they treat their local men the same way. But over there, they have more of a long term mindset. They have more of a long term mindset. They're looking for marriage. They're looking to raise a family. They're looking to indoctrinate you into their culture and, and trying to build something for the future. OK, You're, it's more prevalent there. In Brazil, kind of, sort of, not so much. Okay, from what I'm seeing on the ground is that um, I'm not saying that you cannot find a girlfriend here or you cannot find a wife here, but this isn't necessarily the first place to look. If you are an American guy, you're like, listen, Skylar, if I had a client and he's like, hey, Skylar, I want, I'm ready to find a wife. I'm ready to settle down. I'm ready to get married. I, and he said, okay, Skylar, what country should I go to first? I wouldn't say Brazil. Okay. Now, with all of that being said, and we're going to go further. Do you want to successfully date women abroad? Keep in mind now, I live in Brazil and I've been living overseas 14 years. Do you also want to discover all of the top tier travel hacks from a pro? You get all my knowledge and build wealth through stocks, bonds, mutual funds, crypto. I have all of that information in this travel system. Check it out. Check the link in the description box for more info. I love Brazil. Brazil to me is my Goldilocks country. It is perfect for me and what I want and what I want to do. It's perfect for me. I've never been in a, ser a serious relationship with any Brazilians. 
because I am not looking for a serious relationship. I think me personally at this stage in my life at 40, almost 40 years old, serious relationships to me are not what I like. Okay. Uh, I like the ability to meet a girl and when she's ready to leave, she leaves and she leaves me alone. She's not texting me. She's not getting all emotional and she's not all or doing all that type of stuff. You guys know where I'm leading at. And this is, this is part of the video where, uh, I'm going to catch some flack, but I'm going to tell you this. <sighs> If you want variety and you want to have some sugar babies on payroll and you don't want to deal with any drama and these girls are super, super attractive and everything is affordable, Brazil is where it's at. Now, that's going to be that's a controversial statement. That's a controversial statement. But I've never since the whole time I was here in Brazil, I've never had as well. I've had one. I say one or two. Uh, Brazilian girls who were trying to lock me down in a relationship. They just, it's just not that way here. It's more free. It's more open. If they, I've noticed that a lot of Brazilian women are aggressive in some ways, uh, but not aggressive in others. For instance, I was the, the, I'm going to be very careful here. When it comes to public displays of affection, we just call it that. Public displays of affection and displays of affection, uh, Brazilian girls are proactive in that kind of way, if she likes you. Okay? We just set that on the shelf. But when it comes to a relationship, when it comes to something serious, you as a male have to be more aggressive than she is trying to push for a relationship. It's the exact opposite in Thailand and the Philippines. Those women are pushing, sorry for the, for the camera. Those women are pushing for a relationship. Hey, why don't we become boyfriend and girlfriend? Oh, am I your girlfriend? Is this a relationship? They ask those questions and they're more aggressive when it comes to relationships. But that's, but how Brazilian women do it and how women in Thailand do it, there's no right or wrong. That's why I tell you guys, um, you have to pretty much pick your poison. There is no utopia. Brazil, I don't consider Brazil a utopia. I don't consider Thailand and the Philippines a utopia. I don't consider any country a utopia. You have to pick your poison. I'm picking the Brazil poison because in my opinion, and this is why I like Brazil, by the way, okay? And we're gonna keep it real. Cost of living, I told you guys since, I've been, since I lived here, I saved over $100,000 since January 1st, just by living here. Just by living here, all right? I'm saving so much money. Second of all, the weather year round, for the most part, is pretty good here in Rio de Janeiro. Number three, you have some of the most beautiful women in the world here in Rio de Janeiro, in my opinion, in my opinion, smoking hot, okay? And there's, I got them uh, at Sugar Babies too. Mm. Y'all gonna be like, man, you, Scarlett, you do the pay for play. Scarlett, you do the pay for play. That's what they say. That's what they say. Scarlett, you do the pay for play. So you can't talk about relationships. You can't talk about advice. Well, look, let me do, let's, let, let's do some ninja math really quick. Okay. And no matter what country you go to, your eights, women who consider, who are considered an eight, a nine and a 10 are either a sugar baby. They are a straight pro or they sell box on the side or they monetize themselves in some type of way. That is the way the world has moved. It wasn't like this five years ago. It wasn't like this seven years ago. But in 2024, I'm going to say it again, your eights, nines, and tens are monetized. That is not debatable. 
almost all of them, okay? They find guys who finesse, um, they, they find guys to finesse and to, to support their lifestyle, their lifestyle, not on Sugar Baby websites. They're not all on Sugar Baby websites because today you don't even need a Sugar Baby website. You just need an Instagram with a lot of followers and engagement. And the, and, the, and the DMs are gonna flow. The blue checks, the men with money are gonna go into those DMs, okay? So your eights, nines, and tens are monetized. So if me, Skyler, and I'm like, hey, I wanna pop some eights, nines, and tens on a regular, you gotta pay for it. Fortunately for Brazil, it ain't that much money. And that's, what, that's the crazy part that you guys be arguing with me over. Y'all be arguing with me over 80 bucks. Like, what are we talking about? You're doing a pay-for-play, nigga. We talking about $80. $80, okay? So, eights, nines, and tens are monetized, right? If we follow Kevin Samuels and his logic, sevens don't exist, okay? So, sixes and below is what you brothers are running game on. We have certain guys on YouTube, okay? who talk about they be running game and all this type of stuff. Like Austin Holloman, we just say, use him as an example. He be running game, right? So he says. So, but he's running game on sixes and below, right? Cause you ain't, you, you can't, <laughs> you're not running game on eights, nines, and tens. Not today and not in 2024. But that's just, that's just, that's not a shot by the way. That's just mathematics, okay? So moving along, uh, let's see. Um, in the video, uh, Vibing with Fred, he mentioned uh, self-sabotaging uh, relationships, women self-sabotage relationships. Um, what I find is, <sighs> I would say, and I'm gonna say this very, is, this is not an absolute statement. Um, it's not an absolute statement, but he's kind of correct. Self-sabotaging relationships, um, they're not, you have to understand that a lot of these women are not used to uh, luxury. They're not used to, um, you know, dealing with a guy with money. They haven't been culture to it, they haven't been raised for it, nobody in their family has papers, so that's kind of understandable. Um, I will say, uh, here in Brazil, um, I'm not gonna try to generalize, but everything, like how, the, how people operate is in, is in a very short-term perspective. It's very short-term. Right. So, for instance, in the United States, right, when you guys run your game on these girls, like you say you do, right, these sixes and below, you're going to set a date with her. OK, hey, I want to I want to I want to go out on a date with you. She's going to schedule that date out. Oh, we can meet up in two weeks or not this Friday, but next Friday. Right. You're not going to it's going to be a week in advance most of the time. Where you, when you set stuff up. Here in Brazil, whenever you meet a girl and you, you decide you wanna hang out, it ain't gonna be a week in advance. It's gonna be most likely, 95% of the time, it's gonna be tomorrow or today's Wednesday, we're gonna meet up Friday. It's a very short term um, uh, uh, perspective. They don't really, like the, the way the culture is, it's very quick. You know what I'm saying? Very, very quick. So things move, but I feel like um, here in Rio de Janeiro, it's a monster. <laughs> it's a monster, bro. Um, and there's a lot of different, there's a lot of different, uh, I'm trying to be careful here. There's a, lot, there's a lot of different factors, at least here in Rio de Janeiro, that kind of puts it as a hookup area, right? It's, it's a hookup culture, right? It, and it's, it's seriously, you can't find a good girl here though. Um, but you gotta speak fluent, fluent Portuguese, number one. 
that's the, that's, that goes without saying. I have guys here who are in serious relationships and all of them speak fluent Portuguese. Um, but here in Rio de Janeiro, let me also say this too, by the way, really, really quickly. And this is where a lot of guys, they fumble. Let me just say this. If you, if you, as an American, you come to Brazil and you say, hey, I don't want to do pay for play, right? I don't want to do the pay for play, which is fine. I get it and I respect you for that. And you find you a girl that you really, really like, you will be paying for everything, everything, everything. Especially as this relationship gets more serious, you will pay for everything, okay? Because you, she makes $400 a month, 400 to $600 a month, roughly the equivalent, okay? You make $12,000 a month, <laughs> give or take, depending on how much, what you got, right? So she's, you gotta think about the optics. You're always, you're, you're on Instagram, you're doing boat parties, you are uh, going to fancy restaurants, you're wearing nice clothes, you're doing this, you're doing that. She sees you're traveling the world, whatever the case is, right? They be pocket watching out here. So whenever she has an issue, hey, I need help with this or I need help with that, she ain't gonna ask her parents first, she's gonna ask you. That's just the reality of the game. That's just the reality, almost always. You're going to be helping her financially in some way. So that goes back to what we said before. You're gonna pay for it regardless. Do you wanna pay for it on the front end? Do you wanna pay it on the back end? Do you wanna pay it in the middle? But when you're dating overseas, that's a necessary evil that a lot of guys have to, um, to, 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 to accept. For me personally, I don't care. I pay for it, it's cheap. But the principle is what eats a lot of people. Oh, I shouldn't be paying for this, or we should be doing the 50-50. That's not, that does not exist outside of the United States. You will pay for everything. The bad news is you will pay for everything. The good news is it ain't gonna be that much, especially in Brazil. It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna be that much. Uh, let's see what else we got. And I know I'm going all over the place. Um, I have no stress, I'm, I'm, I'm saving this for the back end of the video, but I have no stresses in Brazil. I don't. I do not have any stresses in Brazil, okay? I'm, I'm full and transparent. I've tried traditional dating here. I told, I told the story. I tried, I met a girl, this is, this, is a, this is a true story. I met a girl at the boat party. I met a girl at the boat party, okay? I met, actually, I met a lot of girls at the boat party. Okay? She's not pay for play. Okay? Uh, we had relations. Okay? We had relations. We had some crazy relations. Okay? Multiple times. Took her to a very nice restaurant, smacked her up on the couch, done all this type of stuff. Okay? But she was a quote unquote good girl. So when I go to another boat party and she sees that I'm having fun, she gets angry, she gets upset, and she deletes me off of all social media and she stopped talking to me on WhatsApp right after the boat party, after she saw the pictures. Because, she, because I took her to a fancy restaurant and, all, and did all this nice stuff that she thought that she was, we were gonna be serious or something like that. It's crazy. I met you at the boat. I met you at the boat party, man. Like, what are we doing? So you're gonna get some weird stuff like that when you try to go the traditional route. I like to have my sugar babies on payroll that are sitting in the pocket where I can do whatever I want to do, and I ain't gotta hear their mouth. Fred mentioned she was trying to get them to stop YouTube. Ain't no chick in Brazil gonna stop me from my business. Okay, and Fred was smart for not entertaining that BS. But you're not gonna stop me from doing my business. No, 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 no. But the sugar babies that I have, which are some baddies by the way, they see me on the boat party and they sit in the pocket and they don't run a mouth and they understand what it is. I can tell you guys a story about my favorite sugar baby. Did I ever tell y'all? 
I have a favorite, but she's gone, by the way. She told me, and this is this is goes this goes into what Fred says. Okay. Um, a lot of times these girls say things and then they break up with you and then they come back and they break up with you and they come back. And the crazy part is, is that they break up with you and say they don't want to talk to you no more. And then a week later, a month later, they message you as if nothing ever happened. Like they just had amnesia and they expect you to just forget everything. I'm like, do you remember what you said last time? They try to, they just forget it. Hey, 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 how you doing? I miss you, blah, 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 blah. Wait a minute, so it's, we got into an argument the last time. But they just, hey, we're starting over again, okay? But anyway, I have this super bad sugar baby in my eyes. Perfect red head, okay? She's a red head, she's about 5'4". Ass is crazy, legs is crazy, pretty feet, the whole nine. We not talking anymore. It's been about three months, okay? We've been off and on quite a bit, um, waiting for it to come back. So if you're watching this video, daddy's, daddy misses you. <laughs> but anyway, the last time she was here, this is some weird, this is, a, this is what I shouldn't say. The last time she was here, she got a load blown in her on the couch, and this is weird. She, she got a load blown in her, and I'm like, hey, after, after we got done, I said, hey, do you wanna take a shower? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying, you're gonna be leaking on that motorbike taxi on the way home. She's like, no, nah, I'm good, I don't wanna take a shower. Mm. <laughs> but after that, we got into an argument over money. Um, but, uh, yeah, but yeah, I don't, I don't really have any stressors, stressors here in Brazil. Right. So, uh, I love Brazil. Is Brazil perfect? No, I prefer the sugar baby route because a traditional route here in Brazil to me leads nowhere. I don't want to have, I don't, I can see myself having a girlfriend here potentially, but it ain't a priority. She needs to understand that I, that I have to have my variety, and if she can get on board with that, then um, everything will be copacetic. But I'm setting boundaries from the very beginning if I have a relationship. My mindset is just completely different. I'm not really into the whole uh, monogamy thing, not now. Like, I never have been, I, actually. And I don't think most men with money and power and all this type of stuff, they're not monogamous. So why should I have to confirm, confirm to these, these standards? You know what I mean? So um, create, you, the cool thing about when you travel to these other places is that you can create a reality for yourself, a real true reality. All you have to do is communicate what you want. Be very clear, no deceptions. There's no deceptions when a chick messes with me. She sees the fucking astral glide right there. She sees it. Look, the astral glide is right there. You, you can see it. it. It's right there. You already know what's going down. There's no deception. I'm very crystal clear out here, just like I am to you guys and very transparent on YouTube. Um, and I think that's the key to a lot of success and a lot of these uh, quote unquote relationships is uh, clear communication. Now, this video is a lot longer than what I thought it would be. Let me make sure I got all my notes here. Uh, I think I hit everything. I hit everything. Okay, so yeah, shout out to Vibing with Fred. Shout out to Vibing with Fred. Shout out to everybody else um, who is loving Brazil. Every country has its pros and its cons. Brazil is not a utopia. There's nowhere that's a utopia. You can create your own utopia. Just find a country that you really, really love and build there. You know what I'm saying? Brazil is not perfect, um, but it's perfect for me. All right, guys, see you in the next video. Peace.